بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وآله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا أما بعد Welcome back to the 22nd chapter Surah Al-Hajj It has 78 verses and the meaning of the name of course is Al-Hajj which is the pillar of Islam فرض على المسلم المكلف مرة في العمر لمن استطاع له سبيل It's that fifth pillar of Islam that has been made obligatory for the person who has the means once in their lifetime. Once in their lifetime. وسبب تسميتها The reason why it's named Al-Hajj is ذكر أصل فريضة الحج على لسان إبراهيم عليه السلام. It is in this chapter that we find that the declaration to establish the Hajj, to begin the Hajj, to initiate it and to maintain it, that Prophet Ibrahim makes that uh, dua, makes that declaration that Allah Ta'ala gives to him and therefore the Hajj itself begins and therefore that focus of the name uh, is there. We don't know of any other names besides <coughs> Al-Hajj. As far as its general objective, we're told it is about ta'adhimullahi ta'ala. It is first and foremost to glorify and exalt Allahu Rabbul Alameen. And then secondly, ta'adhimu sha'a'idihi wa ahkami. Then secondly, it is to also show that level of respect and, and grandiosity to Allahu Ta'ala's symbols and signs, as well as what he has given of laws and of teachings. Sababa Nuzuliha, it is a Medinan chapter and although we do not have anything that tells us why the whole chapter was revealed, we do have some authentic, we have authenticity of some verses why they were revealed. Fadluha, so we're told here with regards to the virtues and merits of this chapter, Fuddilat Bisajdatayn, that it's been unique and it's been given this uh, unique status of being the only chapter that has two sajdas in it. سأل عقبة بن عامر رضي الله تعالى عنه رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال قلت يا رسول الله أفضلت سورة الحج على سائر القرآن بسجدتين So عقبة بن عامر he asks Allah's messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم saying to him O messenger of Allah has Surat Al-Hajj been given a special place and in, in, in merit over the rest of the Qur'an by having two sajdas in it? فَقَالَ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمْ نَعَمْ He said, yes, this hadith is sahih, Imam Ahmed collects it in his Musnad. As far as the relationship of the beginning of the chapter with the end of it, we're told, الْحَدِيثُ عَنِ السَّاعَةِ وَمَشَاهِدِهَا the focus is on Judgment Day and the different events of Judgment Day. فَقَالَ فِي فَاتِحَتِهَا يَا إِيُّهَا النَّاسُ اتَّقُوا رَبَّكُمْ إِنَّ زَلْزَلَةَ الشَّاعَةِ شَيْءٌ عَظِيمٌ He begins the chapter saying, O oh humanity, O oh people, be mindful of your Lord. Indeed, the earthquakes of Judgment Day are a tremendous thing. وَقَالَ فِي خَاتِمَتِهَا وَفِي هَذَا لِيَكُونَ الرَّسُولُ شَهِيدًا وَذَلِكَ يَوْمُ الْقِيَامَةِ And he concludes it telling us and so that this and in this Qur'an the messenger will be a witness and that is through the Qur'an, Allah has made the Prophet وسلم, a witness on Judgment Day, a witness over his people, but even more than that, a witness over all of the other peoples who were sent prophets and messengers. What about the relationship between Al-Hajj and Al-Anbiya? We're told, لَمَّا خَطَمَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى سُورَةِ الْأَنْبِيَاءِ بِتَوْبِيخِ الْكُفَّارِ بِقَوْلِهِ وَرَبُّنَا الرَّحْمَانُ الْمُسْتَعَانُ عَلَى مَا تَصِفُونَ That when Allah Ta'ala ended and concluded Surah Al-Anbiya, scolding the disbelievers, speaking harshly to them by saying, declaring, and our Lord, the most merciful, is our help. And we seek His help against what you ascribe to Him. 
Nasaba dhalik iftitah al-hajj bil amri bi taqwa Allah. We're told that we then see how it, it is a, a, a smooth transition that in the way that Allah Ta'ala begins Surah Al-Hajj with the command to be mindful of Allah Rabbul Alameen that it's totally appropriate and it's perfectly in place where Allah Ta'ala begins the ayah saying Ya iyyuhan nasu attaqu rabbakum inna zalzalat as-sa'ati shay'un azim O humanity be mindful of your master, of your Lord. Indeed, the earthquakes of Judgment Day are a tremendous event, a tremendous thing. Therefore, those folks who were being scolded at the end of Al Anbiya are being told about the greatness of Judgment Day and one of those signs of what's going to be happening of earthquakes. Therefore, they should be mindful of Allah Rabbul Alameen. They should repent, they should believe in Him and they should die in that state of belief of righteousness. We ask Allah Ta'ala that He bless us to be from those who believe and die in a state of belief and righteousness. Allahumma ameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala Muhammad.